Hi, it's Lisa Gainsley with the Lymphatic Message, here to share my morning routine with you for vibrant lymphatic health. First things first, drink lemon water in the morning. The lemon in the water is gonna help the pH balance of the stomach and your lymph system depends on hydration to move out any excess waste that's accumulated in your tissues. We know that the lymph system regulates the fluid balance, so it's really important to stay hydrated throughout the day. Second, I love to dry brush. Dry brushing ultimately towards your heart. The fluid from your arms goes towards the armpits, the axillary nose on each side. The fluid from the back of the body drains to the front. You can dry brush in circles on your stomach towards the left hip. That's how the colon eliminates. And then the legs dry brush gently up towards the inguinals. I also love to face brush. This one is really nice and soft. And the drainage pattern is just like lymphatic self-massage. You'll be draining from the ears down to the lymph nodes at the top of the neck draining that fluid. And then the direction is from the chin to the ears, the cheeks to the ears, up the bridge of the nose to the temples and the ears. Make sure you do both sides. This will help with any eye puffiness you might have experienced through the night. Make sure you go down the neck, nice and easy. Finally, self-massage. Massaging the lymph nodes in the morning is so wonderful to clear brain fog, eye puffiness, and give you more energy. When you lymph massage, move gently, nice and easy down. Take the fluid from behind the ears and bring it back down to the neck. Then separate your fingers like Spock. Place a few fingers in front of your ears and a few fingers behind your ears. These are your pre-auricular lymph nodes and the retro-auricular lymph nodes that's gonna drain the fluid and puffiness from your face. Don't forget to swallow. And then nice and easy brush strokes all along the face to the ears, up the forehead and towards the temples. Finish with a little scalp massage. This will help get rid of any brain fog you might be experiencing. Tap, tap, tap and then revisit the fluid coming back down the neck. Deep diaphragmatic breathing is also going to help stimulate the largest lymph vessel in your body, the thoracic duct. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach, breathing deeply. Exhale, let it go. The change in chest pressure acts like an internal pump to move out congested toxins. Then a little bit of movement. Your lymph system doesn't have a central pump to move it, so it depends on your body's moving. You can stretch your neck from side to side. I like to do this every morning as I breathe and shrug the shoulders up and back. I love inversions in the morning to help any pooling in the ankles. Twists are great for your digestive system. Yoga, walking, bike riding, swimming, jumping jacks, all great to pump your lymph system. And finally, I'd like to introduce you to lymphatic cupping. I'm obsessed with this Infior leg firming oil. You put a little bit on your hands and rub it into the areas where you have any cellulite. I'll just demonstrate on my arm for now. Then with your cup, you squeeze the cup, gather some fluid, and then move it up the line towards your lymph nodes. You could do this on your cellulite and on your legs to help get your body summer ready. Lymph cupping is different than acupuncture cupping where they leave the cup on to create more blood flow and you get that red bruise. You won't do that with the cupping. What you want to do is squeeze and move the fluid along its line towards those lymph nodes. I just wrote a book for you, The Book of Lymph, Self-Care Practices to Enhance Immunity, Health, and Beauty. And in it, I walk you step by step by some of the sequences I just talked about for glowing skin, improved appearance of cellulite, respiratory health, brain health, good sleep, and more. 
follow along with the lymphatic message where I share some more tips for you. My goal for you is to live in vibrant, good lymphatic health always.